All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Winners semifinals, Tiffany and Silly Goby versus Lil Captain. Captain I throw. Let's see how this goes. Look at it. You right. can see it on the top right corner. Tip Lil Sil Cap versus Lil Cap. Lil Cap. I love it. I I want to say that that's the reason he said Captain I throw. Absolutely. Without a doubt. <laughs> Some tiny bit of doubt, though. <laughs> well, uh, well, because look, he also has the anchor hammer that he's swinging around Duh, right now. It just fits so well. <laughs> All right, let's get serious. We gotta fight in front of us. <laughs> oh, we've just received word that they did this name thing at Low Tier City, and we're just late to the party. Everybody in chat's probably like, "Yeah, guys." You didn't know. Get with the program. <laughs> Get with the program. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Tiffany goes down early. A nice edge guard from Lil Cap. I mean, Captain Ithra. I knew it knew it was gonna mess me up. <laughs> <laughs> and he scored that double there, getting the neutral light into a little bit of extra damage afterwards. Lead starting to build for Lil Cap. I'm just gonna say Lil Cap. That's it. Yeah, they're that they is the are, team. They are one. <laughs> So this is this is looking pretty good for Team Little Cap here. Ooh, Tiffany, the only one unarmed, waiting for that weapon throw. Gobi trying to protect her, and there's the axe scoring a KO on immediate pickup. That's the nice thing about like you always know which weapon you have primed just because they alternate. So when you grab it, you can go for an immediate signature or some sort of attack that you know will be your strong one. Yeah. I throw somehow still alive on the right side of the stage, holding on to this first stock of his as it is so deep in the red. He can die to just about anything. Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, Steered man. just too far to the Little side. Too far. It's okay. He picked it up anyway. Guy, guy just made up for it. And then Lil Cap gets his own. Great plays from Team Lil Cap here. Man, all right. So just Captain I throw finally getting sent <laughs> down to the watery depths. But still has two stocks left. <laughs> to the watery depths below. I mean, look, you, you can see the rivers and the waterfalls coming off Mammoth Fortress yeah. in the background there. Ooh, going to be getting a big blast with that side signature. Taking Lil Cap down to his final stock. Oh, wow. A little bit of friendly fire there, but that's okay. Yeah, they are still in a really good spot here as Silly Gobi could just die in one hit. But oh, Silly Gobi gets the edge oh guard my onto Captain gosh. I throw. What a nice play. Can Tiffany survive this? Yeah, no problem. Silly Gobi and Tiffany both very uh -oh. near death. Tiffany barely survives that last one. Great combos for Tiffany. My goodness. Really just going for it. Got to build that damage before going down and leaving Silly Gobi alone. But it's one stock across the board. Okay. Oh no, that's got to do Oof. it. Thatch doesn't have enough defense to survive. If he had landed that uh, recovery attack, or he not recovery, have been that able neutral to... signature, he could have chase dodged yep. and like gotten away from it. I think he meant to do a recovery and not a neutral I, I, signature. You would have to imagine. He just buffered his, dod his jump too early or didn't get the input in or whatever it was. But yeah, I got to imagine he meant to do a jump recovery. And then he would have been safe from the follow-up. And then who knows from there, right? Maybe, yeah. maybe the stars would have aligned and he would have gotten it. But we're going to go into game two. I think everybody's staying on the same characters. No. No, no, no they are not. Tiffany is switching to Azoth. Oh, wow. What's going on? It's the Azoth. I mean, it, it kind of lets you cheat at 2v2 almost. You get that extra man on the field. You hit the neutral sig on the bow. <laughs> yeah. Third man on the field. You get second guy. It's OP. And it looks like we're going to Twilight Grove next. Ooh, Twilight Grove. So it's got that island on the right hand side. Uh, Three, does open two, up a couple wall combos. And sometimes teams will use it to really just lock out certain dodge options. So they get those kind of checkmate moments. Ooh, big follow-up. Tons of damage going on to Lil Cap. Oh my gosh. Lil Cap was ready to turn around that sword neutral light. 
but not it. Oh my oh, gosh, right through the laundry chute. That's the perfect signature for that spot. Man, that was beautiful. <laughs> Silly Gobi went down to save Tiffany, but Tiffany didn't need saving. And then ended up just hitting her into the rest of the combos that finished her off. That is, that is unfortunate. Sometimes helping your teammate can be detrimental. It's tough, you know? It's like when you're playing tennis and you gotta make the call, ah, is that one gonna hit the baseline or is it going out? <laughs> yeah. Do I swing at it? And the answer was no, don't. No, didn't need to. Uh oh, low cap oh, down too low! Goes. And Captain I throw might not be too far behind. There it is, Tiffany finishes him off. And the stocks are now evened up once again. However, Silly Govey, pretty damaged and on a low defense character, it's not great. Oh man, Silly Gobi so good with these interruptions to just save bits of damage. Yeah. Oh, Captain I throw taking out the pirate defending his ship. Oh, beautiful oh, follow up off follow the wall. Up. Even got to try and go for more. Dire situation for Tiffany. The damage really just building. Who plucked up into the sky that hammer down air? Quite a strong KO option. Well, Will Capt and I throw are looking like they might be able to just take this game and move on to win this final. I mean, look, with both of these hammers swinging around, each neutral air is going to be around like 25 damage on Thatch. He cannot survive a lot of those. Little Cap getting chunked off to the side, able to recover. Captain I throw throwing his weapon as per his name. Oh, but the wow. double! Cleaning up. That's exactly what they needed here. That's it's, why Tiffany chose Azel. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be difficult, but this is the best shot they've ever had. They can definitely get this done right now. And Tiffany is really getting <gasps> it started quick. But oh, no, there goes Silly Gobi. Tiffany's going to have to 1v2, and this is not an easy 1v2 to win here. Man, dire straits. Slow Cap and I throw are up a game in the set. Yep, this next hit could be all it takes. Tiffany having to play so clutch, cannot get hit by anything more already in the knockout potential. Is that it? Oh, no, wow. He's still alive. Good target swap. Tiffany pouring damage onto both. Captain I throw getting into the knockout potential himself. Yeah, Tiffany does do a really good oh, job of fighting the one v two. Off the island. That's all they need. Captain I throw and Lil Cap move on to winner's final. Man, so winner final is going to be Lil Cap versus Remy Faison. Yeah. I like how you Jeez. said Lil Cap because I mean that they forced it. Obviously, on us. that's what they want, <laughs> and we shall deliver. Oops. Okay, so we are going down now to the lower side of the bracket where our next match should be Cody Travis, the legend himself, Ooh. and Isidru going up against Double Diamond Atrophius. Hey, they made it. We were talking yeah. about Double Diamond Atrophius losing that first match we spectated and yep. thought, well, you know, it's going to be tough, but they can fight their way back in. They still.